Okay, in this video we're going to cover something um, called text to path and uh, we're going to make this video a series of videos to show you the different things you can do uh, with the te text to path feature in CorelDRAW. It's probably one of the most common things that people come up with when they start using CorelDRAW. They um, usually come up with, okay, I, I'm tired of this text being straight. How do I make it follow a curve and so forth like that? So we're going to show you how to do that and all the different possibilities that uh, we've come up with anyway. Um, so the first thing we got, we have some text here. Um, we're just going to use a basic Arial font. Uh, the next thing we need is we need something to put that text onto. And I'm going to just grab the ellipse tool here, um, draw an ellipse right in the middle of the page, and um, then I'm going to go back up here and get my pick tool. Um, the next thing I need to do is I'm going to select my text, and once my text is selected, I'm going to move my cursor back up onto that text and anytime I get them four arrows uh, that shows that I can move my text if I wanted to move it around but instead of left clicking just go ahead and right click um, on that text and then we'll um, holding down that right right mouse button we'll go ahead and drag it down here um, until we get um, down here to the ellipse and you're gonna see that uh, our cursor changed to uh, what I call a bullseye and that means we've targeted that object and once we get it there we're, I'm gonna let up on the right mouse button now once I release it we get a menu of some options here and the option we want is fit text to path so we're just gonna select that and just like that our text is now um, right onto this ellipse as you can see um, the first thing uh, beyond that, I mean, if that was all you needed to do, you'd be done, but there's always um, adjustments and stuff to be made. We're going to cover two adjustments here in this video, and beyond that, um, we'll put those in into the next video. So the first thing we're going to do is that you're probably going to come up with, as you can see, only our text is selected. We may want to change the size of that text. Uh, we could go up here if we had a particular point size that we wanted to use. We'll just go ahead and change it to 36 point. As you can see, it made the text bigger. We can do it that way. The other thing we may want to change, or the other way we could change it, would be as long as just our text is selected, as you can see down here, artistic text is selected, um, we can go ahead and use our, our um, handles that are on that text to adjust the size also. Um, so that works pretty much like it does when it's straight. The only thing to remember though is once we click off of that and then we highlight this again, we now have text on a path. And when we do that, um, with that option, this is going to adjust the size of everything. So um, just keep that in mind. Now if we wanted to go back and adjust the size of just the text again, the easiest way to do that click on the text you can see we have text on path click on the text again and make sure that your uh, handles are surrounding just the text and you can go ahead and resize that text just like this now the last thing we're going to show you how to do is you can do the same thing with the curve or the ellipse or whatever you have that you have that text onto so we're going to click on that ellipse Again, we're, the first click we always get is text to path. The second click, we're going to have the control ellipse. So now, if we adjust the shape of this ellipse, the lettering will follow, still follow that shape, but we're only changing the shape of the ellipse. Here we've taken it to something closer to a circle. As you can see, our text still wants to follow that shape. If we want a more drastic curve, we could pull that down. If we want less of a curve, we could push this way up like this, and we would have a completely different look. So that gives you the control you need as far as putting the text onto the path, then adjusting the size of the text alone. Click, not a double click, but click twice onto the text. You can adjust the font size. Click twice onto the ellipse or your curve whatever whatever your control curve is and then you can adjust that size so that gives you control over the curve and gives you control over the text so that's the um, to the extent of the first video and hopefully um, in the later videos here we'll show you more things you can do with that option